You know, sometimes when a house doesn't have cleanouts that are readily accessible, you have to do a sewer scan just a little bit differently. Ah, hello, gorgeous. So this toilet was loose and leaking water, and I thought if I can repair it faster than I can report it, I'm going to fix it. So I'm going to use the bottom of my Milwaukee wet dry vac, and I'm actually going to catch the residual water in this water line with it. A little bit of lefty loosey action will drain that residual water right out of the line, and then we'll put that right back on the shop bag. All right, let's do this. Also, shout out to Rock Rooster, by the way, for hooking me up with the new boots. Thanks, guys. Go ahead and do what your mom does best. And suck it all up. And we'll go ahead and lift the toilet up. There we go. It's heavy. Now we'll go ahead and lift the forbidden caramel from just above the flange. I've got it mostly cleaned up, but I'm going to take my scraper and get this stuff at the top and then reuse the hardware. Turns out they have a cast iron waste system and not PVC like they thought. I've used wax rings, I've used rubber rings, but we're going to use this corky universal fitting to reseat the toilet. I've got all the forbidden caramel cleaned off. I've got the toilet back. We're going to bolt it down, give it a test flush, and we'll call it a day. 